And President Trump, you now have two minutes for your closing statement. Like so many politicians, this man is just a complainer. He said, we want to do this, we want to do that, we want to get rid of this tax, that tax. But he doesn't do anything. He doesn't do all he does is make our country unsafe by allowing millions and millions of people to pour in. Our military doesn't respect him. We look like fools in Afghanistan. Uh, we didn't stop Israel. It was such a horrible thing that would have never happened. It should have never happened. Iran was broke. Anybody that did business with Iran, including China, they couldn't do business with the United States. They all passed. Iran was broke. They had no money for Hamas or Hezbollah, for terror, no money whatsoever. Again, Ukraine should have never happened. He talks about all this stuff, but he didn't do it. For three and a half years, we're living in hell. We have the Palestinians and we have everybody else rioting all over the place. You talk about Charlottesville. This is a hundred times Charlottesville, a thousand times. The whole country is exploding because of you, because they don't respect you and they have to respect their president and they don't respect you throughout the world. What we did was incredible. We re rebuilt the military. We got the largest tax cut in history, the largest regulation cut in history. The reason he's got jobs is because I cut the regulations that gave jobs. But he's putting a lot of those regulations back on. All of the things that we've done, nobody's ever never seen anything like Even from a medical standpoint, right to try, where we can try space-age materials instead of going to Asia or going to Europe and trying to get when you're terminally ill. Now you can go and you can get something. You sign a document. They've been trying to get it for 42 years. But you know what we did for the military was incredible choice for our soldiers, where our soldiers, instead of waiting for three months to see a doctor, can go out and get themselves fixed up and readied up and take care of themselves. And they're living. And that's why I had the highest approval rating in the history of the VA. So all of these things, we're in a failing nation, but it's not going to be failing anymore. We're going to make it great again.